we are going to build this website in three parts the first one is going going to be the models that is going to define the tables for us and the second part is going to be the interfaces that is the html that will be the face of the website and the last part is going to be the controls that is going to be the back end of the website uh, generally in normal terms it's called mvc architecture models views and controls but i kind of refrain from using views in the second part because in django we, we are going to use views as back end so let's get started so before we begin uh, let's create an app in our website an app is nothing but a contained unit so you can uh, move that entire folder to some other website and all the code will be reusable so that's why it's generally a best practice to create an app uh, in keep the code modular so that you can move the modules between two different websites and you needn't needn't write much code so to do that let's open command prompt and go to the directory Uh, when once we are here call the manage script say start app and we're going to say inventory this is going to automatically generate all the files that are necessary for the tab as you can see a new folder appeared right here that's inventory and it has all the uh, files that are generally needed, needed to start the app and before we can start using this app uh remember the settings file which is in this in main folder go to the settings and in the installed apps just give it a name give the name that you used to create the app so as i mentioned before this website is going to be built in three parts the first one is going to be the models and in let's come to the models file so in this models file we are going to be defining the structure of the database if you know SQL, you have tables and each table has its own name and table has few columns and each column has its own name. So let's, we are just going to be, be redefining the entire structure in Python syntax. So let me show you how it's done. So we'll say class laptop. We have to inherit from the model class. And this is basically is going to be the name of the table. And each each table has few columns. So let's have few columns right here. This is the name of the column. We have type, we have price, we have status, we have issues. So in SQL we have each 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 column has its own type. So we are going to redefine in the same way. This is going to be a care field of max length of 100 and this cannot be left blank price field is going to be an integer field and the status field is going to be the care field max length of 10 is enough and i'll show you why and it has a default value of say sold status is basically like available sold or restocking so issues issues is also just like a cap field and we can have default no issues if default is going to be substituted in case no value has been provided in the entry field let's define a str method for this this str method is going to be used by the django admin to, uh, to represent this complete uh, to represent this certain object so whenever you see this object this string is going to be shown as a representation of the current object so let's say the type is let's format this now we can repeat this entire code for how many how many other models we have say we have class desktops this is also is going to be inherited from the model class and we can simply copy paste the entire code that's written here and we can do this do, do this for n number of models that we have but we are completely reusing the code we are completely rewriting the code that violates the dry principle of the python so to do that we use the power of inheritance to reduce the number of lines of code that we are going to write 
so to do that let's remove this additional class let's rename this to device that's like a base class for everything and let's start inheriting class laptop that is going to inherit from the device class we're gonna just say pass because everything that is needed by the laptop thus all the fields are present in the device class and it's basically just inheriting everything if you want to just add any additional field that is not there in the device class you may mention it here right here and desktop that is also being inherited by the device field so the device class and class mobile that is also being inherited by the same so basically that's it this is going to define the entire database for our website so we can check if this models file actually created any tables for us to do that we have to understand what's what's called as migrations in django so migrations are basically like it, uh, the migration complete reads the models file basically reads this template how to create uh, on how to create the database and generates files that are necessary to write the sql in the back end so let's do that right now let's say you have to call the manage script and say my, my, make migrations this is going to read the entire models file and uh, create the necessary tables that are required okay we shouldn't create the device as it is just a base class and sh it shouldn't add any new uh, tables to the field to do that we have to declare this as an abstract class to do that we have to override the class meta from the model model class and say abstract equal to true this is going to avoid the make migration script on creating an additional class for the device and it will skip basically this this definition and it's only going to create laptop desktop and mobile now let's re rerun the make migration script before that let's delete the sql as uh, sql that was created by the previous script and also the migrations file let's run the script again as you can see this time it only created desktop laptop and mobile because we defined device as an abstract class it's going to stop stop it from defining another table for that specific class after we make the make migrations we have to actually run that file run those files which are generated by the make migrations to do that we're going to repeat the same but with migrate as a command this is going to internally create tables for us in the sql file that is being generated by the certain script to check that we can even check what's happening in the background let's use a db explorer and open the database that was defined here yeah. now as you can see this has three tables inventory desktop inventory laptop and inventory mobile and each has their own fields this is basically as we have mentioned before integer field char field and char field and before moving on uh, as we have mentioned in the statuses field here we have only three options we certainly want to restrict the user from entering only three certain options to do that we can use the choices choices method that is provided by the uh, char field so let's add some choices choices is a tuple of tuples that has different choices let me show you how it's done available and this is a description that is going to be shown in the html page So this is going to be used by the status field. So instead of showing a blank text box, this is going to show a uh, text, I mean drop down menu with only these three options available. So let's say choices equal to choices. So that is it with the models file. We don't have to come back here and make sure whenever you make any slight adjustment to the models file, you have to run the make migration script and migrate script again. 
in case you're uh, running into trouble uh, say, say some errors or overlapping issues you can basically delete the SQL uh, SQLite 3 file and the migrations file in this don't delete the init file anything after that is to be deleted and and make sure this is going to be this going this is going to cause a loss of information so don't delete it if you have any sensitive information already present in the database